Good morning, my YouTube friends. We are going back to, let me get, get you guys some juice here. Oh no, a door just came off the camera. <laughs> I'll fix that later. Anyways, we are headed back to the job I started yesterday, actually. Um, I uh, ran out of fuel. And uh, I haven't put a fuel tank in this truck. The one in on the, the gooseneck, um, the pump is bad, so. So I said, okay, fine, we'll come back tomorrow. We already had we already, we had it scheduled for today too. I just got it done yesterday. So today we're just gonna go out there and make it look pretty, kind of cut it up a little bit. But when we get there, we're gonna get fuel, load up, go get fuel, come back, and unload. Make it pretty, and then we're gonna go to Satsuma, Florida, which is by Palaka. And we're gonna do a quarter acre there as well today on our way home. Look at that bull. Oh, my windows are fogged. That bull's a big boy. Anyways, let's make a YouTube video. <laughs> Subscribe. Okay, let's go. All right, we are back at the job site. I picked the 299 up, ran and got fuel. Slowest fuel pump ever. Almost crushed the bed of the tail of the truck with the gooseneck. It was, yeah. Anyways, we're here. Let me get this and this. Mm. Had my water. So the sun don't get it. Perfect. All right. Let's get this unloaded and we'll show you what we're working with today. On my client's property. I don't feel bad for him. He didn't even know it was hitting him. Tree Shop got the phone call, which means Tree Shop got the job. So, it's a two acre, it's like, it's actually more than that, it's like a two and a half, I think 2.6 acre parcel that is like the biggest parcel at 2.6. So we did a 15 foot, oh, we did a fence, a fence row around the outside. Then we did a 15 foot buffer, then opened up everything on the inside. So there's a big hill here and I think that's what's messing with my head, but this feels like two and a half maybe acres of open area, even though on GPS it's, it's too, too even. So um, we got to punch in on these buffers a little bit more. They're a little too thick. And then kind of go through and make stuff pretty. Like, see that stick right there? Got to get that. See that stick right there? Those sticks right there? Got to get those. Um, and then just kind of pretty everything up. So I budgeted an hour for this. Um, and uh, now that I'm here, I'm thinking maybe it'll be like an hour 45. But no biggie. We got, we got enough. Or we'll get it done. And then we're going to run to Satsuma, like I said, and uh, get that job finished up. Or start the job and finish it. So get to work.
Alright, that's pretty good. I like to do... You can pretty much tell this area that I just did compared to like that area where it's all bumpy or over there where there's a bunch of sticks still. This is pretty much good. Alright. I hope that goes about that. But that's all we're gonna do the rest. I'm gonna fly through this. Not really gonna film anything else until I'm done done. Um, and then we'll go to the next job. So subscribe! You know, when you call Lacey, please give all the information. So, <laughs> this is the property. Dun, dun, dun. Right here is what we have to mulch. There's actually a property stake in the ditch. Nice. Which means there's probably another one over yonder over there somewhere but we aren't going through that and that's literally standing water on the property like the property is literally underwater literally <laughs> nothing's getting done because it's underwater literally <sighs> I get to go home early though. Look at that. Woo! It's like looking pretty. Can y'all see that yet? <laughs> see that fog up ahead? That ain't fog. That's a Florida rainstorm. See, we're starting to get in the little outer bands. And once we get past, uh, a little bit past this bridge, it's just gonna be like walking into a brick wall of water. There it is. Gets a little worse up ahead. This is why there's water everywhere in Florida these days. We get rain every day in Florida. Every day. Might not be a lot. It might be a lot. But this year it's been abnormally dry. And then when it does rain, it's like, this isn't even bad, honestly. Like, really bad. Um, and that's why we're having water issues, I feel like ground can't handle that much water at one time so but let's get home and rip rip the deck off the old gooseneck i think that's what i'm gonna do when i get home just rip it all off Woo! if i make it <laughs>